Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss an upload. I decided that I wanted to make a little glow up video. Today is December 26th. It's almost the new year. It's about to be 2023, which is fucking crazy. But I feel like there's just some things that I need to do to like reinvent myself, make myself feel like the best version of myself to enter the new year. So that's what we're gonna do in today's vlog. I'm gonna do a bunch of things that make me just feel hot and that make me feel good so I can enter the new year just feeling the best I can because 2023 is gonna be my year I'm claiming it so today is probably the most important day out of this whole video because today I am going and getting my hair done which immediately always makes me feel so good I haven't got my hair done in I think about a year I get it dyed fully once a year about and then I will just get it toned throughout the year so I haven't gotten it really done in so long we're gonna get it fully colored close to black not fully black but like the closest thing to it and then I'm gonna get a haircut so it's just gonna like freshen up my look and I'm really excited but first I'm gonna do my makeup and then we're gonna go my appointments at 1 30 it's noon right now so I need to kind of hurry up hey guys I'm ready to go get step number one of this glow up done this is the current status of my hair, I feel like you can't really see it that well, but it basically just has a lot of red undertones. I haven't got it dyed in so long. It just, it's dull. It's not giving what I want it to. I am using this picture for reference for the haircut and I'm going like crazy with the layers. I normally just get long layers with face framing because I'm scared of like going fully in with the layers, but I think it just looks so nice. I basically style my hair like 90% of the time and layers just look so good on styled hair and I already do that so I don't know I just I'm, I want to try it out so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna drive there and then we're gonna get our hair done I'm actually so excited I've been looking forward to this for months let's ride motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> your life is about to transform right now yep. I just finished with my hair. I am so obsessed with it. I wish that it was lighter out right now. It's 4.30, so it's like kind of dark out. But it came out so good. I got way more layers than I've literally ever gotten, and it just looks so good. My hair feels so light and bouncy. The curling bangs are also super short, which I love. I'm so excited to style it. It came out so perfect. My hair is also like pretty much black. I wish that the lighting was better so you could really see, but I'm sure later in the vlog you will be able to see it better. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Shout out to Rito. He is the best. He's my hairdresser and I just love him so much. And he killed it. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Yay! Okay, step one of the glow up for the new year is complete. And I feel good. Like, I feel like I just cut off some dead ends of this year. Like, I just, I just chopped away everything that I don't want to bring into the new year. Hey guys, it's a few days later now. It is the 29th today. Tomorrow is going to be like our big glow up day. I'm going to get my lashes done, get a spray tan. I don't really know what else I'm doing to glow up actually, but those are two of like the big things that I want to get done. Also, my apartment is literally a shit show. I got back from being at my parents' house for the holidays like a day or two ago and I'm literally just a shit show. So right now I'm about to clean my entire apartment, which I feel like is adding into the glow up because I can't properly glow up if I'm in a messy environment. Here is how my apartment's looking. She is actually terrifying right now and scary. But on a brighter note, I actually got my New Year's Eve dress and shoes in the mail today. The way that I literally can't even find it because it's such a mess. What the? Oh, I hung it up. Okay. Okay, so here are the shoes. I got them off of Amazon. They're so fucking cute. I feel like I have these shoes in like a million different versions. I actually do have these, which look like pretty identical, but the whole bottom fell out because they're cheap. So I had to get new ones. And these are the ones I got and they're actually a little bit higher, which I like. So those are gonna be so cute. And then I got this dress from Revolve and it's sparkly. It has a low back and it's halter and it's just perfect for New Year's Eve. So I'm gonna be wearing this. We're going to a fun party in Tribeca. So I'm really excited. You guys will see the full fit on at the end of this video for sure, but yeah, I love it. It's so cute. And now I'm going to just like clean my whole apartment. 
and get that done and then i'll see you guys tomorrow for like the whole glow up shebang ew i hate that i just said shebang i don't know why the fuck i said that word but yeah we're gonna do the whole thing tomorrow so i will see you guys then good morning guys holy shit we have a lot to do today to fix this I literally don't think I've ever looked this bad in my entire life. I just slept in because I was up to like 2 in the morning. And I have to leave for my eyelash appointment in like an hour. So I'm going to get myself together because I look terrifying right now. And we're going to go get eyelashes for the new year. I'm actually so excited. Okay. I literally look like Joe from you right now. I look fucking ugly. I'm on my way to my eyelash appointment. I'm currently 10 minutes late, which is great for me. I also have crippling anxiety right now like i'm doing breathing exercises as i'm driving i don't know why i am so anxious right now definitely not not the way i'm wanting to end this year my anxiety has been so bad this past week i think that new year's eve has a lot of expectations surrounding it and i think that might be why just because like i feel so much pressure to like do so much like it's gonna be a new year i'm like okay like i need to get it together i feel like there were a lot of things in 2022 that i didn't accomplish or like there were just things that i wanted to do within that year that i didn't which is fine and i feel like putting this timeline of like i need to get this goal accomplished within this year i feel like that thought process could become very toxic if you like beat yourself up over like not achieving those things within that time span i also grew so much this year and i am really proud of myself and like i did accomplish a lot but then at the same time i'm like i didn't do enough and i always do that to myself i beat myself up so much and i think that that really is why i'm anxious right now just because i'm like thinking of all the things that i want to do in 2023 and i'm like okay like i need to get my life together and it's stressing me out and giving me anxiety so i need to just like maybe be nice to myself in the new year <laughs> And like not make myself spiral like this i don't know but i don't know i think i'm just having a moment i do want to implement healthy habits and new things into my life in the new year and i i do want to make goals for myself for the new year i just need to like not beat myself up about things that i didn't achieve this year you know like it's done it happens i had a great year there were some very low lows but also some very high highs and i don't know it was a good year overall for me like personally so i need to stop being like mean to myself but my anxiety is just like beating me up today and i really also hate having anxiety when i'm going to get my eyelashes done because my eyes sometimes like twitch when i'm getting them done and when i'm like anxious whenever i go in there with like a very calm mindset I'm fine, but if I either go in with bad anxiety or if I had just drank coffee, my eyes twitch so much to the point where the lady is like, girl, are you okay? And I'm like, no, apparently not. Okay, I just got out of my eyelash appointment. I was 15 minutes late. So she only had 45 minutes to do my lashes. So we decided to do the like clusters instead of individual lashes, which I normally get. There were clusters of like three or four, I think. I don't know, we'll see how they last. I feel like. They probably won't last as well because they're gonna fall off in chunks instead of one by one but they look good for right now and that's all that really matters i look so ugly don't look at me but once i have like my makeup done these are gonna look fucking fire i'm like scared of the way i look right now i can't look at myself bye okay guys i just showered and ate dinner and i originally was going to go get a spray tan today but i never made an appointment and obviously everything was booked because it is the day before new year's eve so we're gonna be self tanning tonight i'm using the loving tan deluxe bronzing mousse in dark and sleeping in it this stuff is my favorite i'm just nervous because my dress is like backless basically so if i botch my back it's not going to be hidden and i can't really reach my back so we're going to figure that out i want to make up a cool story like i don't know i got into a huge fight killed all my enemies <laughs> <laughs> and the venue that we were at i am looking so tremendously down bad i have on my self tan outfit which is not very cute and i am shaving my face i'm microblading it or whatever the fuck it's called so my makeup applies nice and smooth tomorrow night i also just picked my face because i have a problem and i'm like addicted to picking up my skin which is not good so i'm all red i like doing this it gets all like the dead skin off the dry skin 
the little baby hairs that are everywhere. Just put on a thick moisturizer and shave away. Look at all that shit that's coming off my face. But I feel good. I'm all tan, and now my face is about to be all smooth. I shaved my whole body in the shower before I tanned. I am just ready to go for tomorrow night. I'm so excited. I feel like tomorrow's gonna actually be really fun because we have plans and they're not like too crazy of plans. Like we're just pre-gaming at Anna's and then going to a party at a restaurant. So it's like kind of chill in a way. Like it's not like we're gonna be in a crowded club or anything like that, which I prefer to not be in a crowded club, especially on New Year's Eve. So I'm excited and I feel prepared now that I have myself tan on. Okay. I'll be here shaving my fucking face. Um, here's the update. Shaved my whole face and now we have a face mask on with the self tanner also on. I better look really fucking hot tomorrow. You have to like almost look your worst to look your best, you know? I feel like I look awful the night before I look really, really hot. So tomorrow night I better look really, 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 really hot or this will be very awkward. So. This is my current state <laughs> and I have my fluffy blanket. I'm about to make a vision board for 2023 on Pinterest. So I also want to make a vision board that's like physical. I don't have any supplies to do that right now. So we're just gonna make one on Pinterest right now. I made one last year, kind of unintentionally. I wasn't really fully thinking about it in a vision board way. I was more so thinking about it in just an inspirational way. I had this on my desktop all year long, but I wanna make a new one for the new year. And I also wanna talk about some things that were on mine that kind of came true. I was seeing TikToks like this. Then I looked at mine and I was like, wait, like some of these things, I feel like I have pictures that look similar to it or like they happened. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to make a new one with the one for 2023. I want to be way more intentional because I feel like this one was just like pictures that I think are pretty. And I want to be very intentional with why I'm putting everything on it. I already started my Pinterest board for it, which is private. I'll think about making it public, but I feel like that's kind of personal. Also, one of my New Year's resolutions is to work in silent with like everybody in my life. Like I don't want to tell literally anybody anything. So that would kind of defeat that purpose. But anyways, mine from last year has multiple pictures that look like Europe on it. I have a picture of the Eiffel Tower and another picture in an apartment that looks out to a view that kind of resembles Paris. And I went to Paris this year for the very first time, which is something I've always wanted to do, but I had like no intention of doing it this year. I just randomly went and I had the best time. So that was kind of interesting that that was on it. And then I had a picture of a girl on an island and it kind of looks like a Caribbean kind of vibe. And I went to Turks this year and had the best trip ever for Kiara's birthday. It was so relaxing and I haven't been on a tropical vacation in so long. And I randomly put that on. I also have this photo on it and it's a girl wearing a bunch of necklaces and one of them is the New York Yankees logo. And I remember in the beginning of this year when I was still living in LA, I would always be staring at that. It also has a butterfly, which reminds me of my grandma. And I always was staring at it. And now I live back over on the East Coast. I live in Jersey, but I'm always in New York. Like it's just home for me. And it's just weird that it was just right there in my face. And I remember always looking at it. There's just a lot of pictures of random things that I kind of resonate at the end of this year. Like I said, I want to make mine for 2023 way more intentional and set specific goals and have photos on the vision board that don't only inspire me but also kind of manifest the things that I actually really want. So we're gonna be super intentional. I already started it and I love it. I really love it. I have so many goals for myself and I feel like I never set real goals. I feel like I've almost been scared of setting these like super specific goals for myself because I don't wanna fail. But that's so dumb. I always would set like the most broad goals. I feel like because of that reason, but this year I like have the very specific things that I want to do and get done. And I'm just feeling inspired right now in life in general. I feel like I've felt lost randomly throughout this year and I'm finally kind of finding my way back and like trying to figure out why I felt that way. I'm really excited for the new year. I feel like it's going to be really good. This makes me feel almost like a sense of peace going into a new year knowing that like I wrote down my goals and I have things like in order. My Pinterest board right now is looking just gorgeous and I'm going to hold myself accountable to this. 
Okay, I just finished my 2023 vision board. I think it came out so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with it. I have it in like different sections kind of that like flow into each other and I just love it. Like I look at this and I'm happy. I feel like I want to focus a lot on myself in 2023. I feel like I have been in 2022 and 2021 and for a while now, but I want to focus on like genuinely bettering myself. That's what this little section over here is about like I want to learn how to cook meals and I want to work out and just be consistent with like every aspect of my life so yeah that's what that revolves and then like friend stuff I put like three relationship things but then I put the I am my own muse <laughs> over the relationships because I don't want to focus on that too much but I am like open to a relationship I don't know I feel like that'd be nice but if not it's okay but if yes that'd be Great. I have work stuff like all in the middle. I don't really want to get like too into that, but yeah, I want to start a podcast in 2023 and just keep working towards all my goals. I also want to get my real estate license, so I put like studying pictures and like whatever to just like inspire me. And then this side is like travel, personal life, random goals that I have. I have pictures that kind of inspire me of those throughout kind of the whole thing um so yeah I really really love it I think it's so cute and then I also threw on some quotes that also inspire me and yeah I just think it's so pretty if you're wondering I made it on PicMonkey so basically I went on Pinterest chose all the photos and then I put them into PicMonkey.com and I just made it into a collage and added like random little like numbers and whatnot. It took me actually kind of long, but it was really fun. I was blasting some music and doing this and it put me in such a good mood and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm really happy. Happy New Year's Eve. Today is the day to glow the fuck up fully. I just took a shower and my self tan came out so good, even on my back. Like I didn't miss a single spot and I'm really proud of myself and it looks so good i'm gonna do my hair soon it's early still but i just want to have it done because i hate rushing and doing my hair takes forever so we're gonna do that soon but i'm feeling good i feel like the glow up is really gonna come together today i just have high hopes also how cute is the set from aloe i'm obsessed with it but i just cleaned my whole apartment i like semi deep cleaned because I feel like going into the new year with a clean apartment just feels right. But yeah, I'm just going to be ice rolling and then do some skincare and then do my hair and then the glow up is going to fully commence, okay? I'm really, really, really excited. <laughs> Guys, this is where the glow up either comes crumbling down or really takes off. I just rolled basically my whole head of hair except for the bottom layer because like whatever. I just air wrapped that part. I have never used rollers like this ever, so hopefully it looks good. Um, and hopefully I don't ruin my whole glow up situation, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Carly's about to be here and then we're gonna do our makeup together. I'm kind of vibing, like I feel like a cute grandma or something. She's a man stealer. I know, but that's not what happened. Should we drink champagne? No. Like. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> well, you're we're taking six. See, this is how I got blacked out the first time because you were like, shot, shot, shot. I need another to shot, another shot. Yeah, but I'm not on the same wavelength. Like, I literally am like a child still when it comes to okay, drinking. Okay, so don't listen to me. <laughs> Just do it. Go on your own page. I was trying not to. I'm actually terrified. If this doesn't look good, I'm fucked. How do you? Okay, wait. <laughs> wait a second. Wait. No. Wait. Uh, wait. Okay. Don't be deceived. <laughs> don't give your judgment yet. I don't know why I decided to do this for the first time. When I'm actually going out. Okay, wait. That one kind of looks good. This is actually fucking painful. It looks like it hurts. Why? do people do this? They make it look like it doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh, I try to be slick with that one. <laughs> Ow, okay, wait. Ow, this one's really stuck. Okay, last piece. 
<laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh, hold on. <laughs> the bangs are Wait, why do I Hold on. Hold on. Why do I, like, don't hate them? <laughs> hold on. You're giving, like, 80, uh, 50s house one. Wait, wait. Wait. <gasps> wait. Wait, hold on. Once they, like, tame. Amanda, your hair hair looks insane. Wait, the bangs need to fucking relax though. She's ridiculous. But wait, kinda? <gasps> I think I kinda slayed. Guys, the rollers were not a flop. It looks actually good and I really like it. And I also just finished my makeup. Now I'm gonna eat and then put on the outfit and then we will have the final glow up look for the new year the glow up worked i think i feel good the hair turned out good the makeup looks good the tan looks good everything looks good except for the fact that i literally had to girly glue my nail on today but i would say that the glow up was a success getting my eyelashes done was a win because it took me so quick to do my makeup this is the dress it's from revolve i kind of like hate it i'm not gonna lie but It'll do. And the shoes are from Amazon. So that's the look. I feel like it was a success. And yeah, that's it for my 2023 glow up video. Thank you guys for glowing up with me. Now I'm going to go get drunk and celebrate the new year. And I'm vlogging it. So stay tuned for that vlog. I love you guys.